gonna do an unboxing, a review, if you will, of this LG Curve Ultra Wide Game Monitor. And you know what? Games are my specialty. And I wanna give a big thanks and a big shout out to the people of LG Panama for giving me this beautiful monitor. And the timing couldn't be better for the Forger of Pain here in Kaikamu Gaming because my old game mother died. And before unboxing this baby, well, I have something to do. And, uh, you know what? It has to do with my old game mother. So, if you'll excuse me. A moment of silence for my game monitor. Okay, that's enough. Let's open this bad boy right away. Okay, let's put this together. Well, here I have all the parts that comprise this game monitor. And uh, I gotta tell you something. I'm not too good with my hands. These hands were made to destroy. <laughs> so, if I can build this, I am sure anybody at home can do it. So, let's begin. So you have the base, the stem, uh, if you will the actual monitor, and you might be thinking, ah, now I need to get my screwdriver, and that's where you're wrong. The base has this turn thingies, and you can, you know, turn it with your hands or a coin. Boom, magic. I didn't even have to read the manual. Really, it was like three steps. Its design is pretty slick and smooth and continuing with that concept at the back you can see that they shows red for its identity and you know i love red also in the back it has what you expect of an lg product for gaming with the respective video and audio outputs maybe most of you guys will use this to play call of duty and those first-person shooter. And let me tell you something, it has those options. But I'm an old school guy, and you know, I happen to have right here a NES Classic, the NES Mini. So I am gonna try it with this, because I am an old fart. And if this monitor right here passes the test of time, it would be okay in my book. 
For me, one of the most important aspects of today's modern gaming monitors, it just rolls off your tongue, is that my retro stuff looks the part. It does help that the console you're using has HDMI output, such as the Retron 5, and in this case, the NES Classic. Mm. And I love it already. Really, this is like the first impression. If you look at this stuff from any angle, well, well not that one because you would have to be an idiot, but you know what I mean. The graphics look perfect. They are very bright, crisp, and colorful. While I was playing, nothing ah, made me feel yeah, uneasy or yeah. out of place. Yeah, con estilo, con estilo. Ah, and my gaming experience remained excellent. <laughs> Virtually, the image looks great from any conceivable angle. But in case you're too short or maybe too tall, and you know, you have a lot of sunlight entering your room somehow, these 34 inch curved beauty can be adjusted in different ways to satisfy your viewing pleasure. It all comes down to the specs and features, my friend. So I'm gonna get technical on you. One millisecond motion blur reduction. Sometimes, Having some stuff blurred out in our games, it's a double-edged sword. It can help things look cool, but also can mess up with your eyes and you won't understand what's going on around the game, especially in action-packed games. So I tried Killer Instinct at split second. Trust me, it does improve the detail in the games. It's kind of hard to capture its essence with the camera, but it works. In person, you can notice the backgrounds look better, edges become more sharp and less rough. Basically, you can check stuff out that you couldn't before. This option can also be turned off. If you're like me and suck at first-person shooters, hey, don't judge. I used to be good at Quake. <laughs> Then, you might need some assistance. There is an option to generate a crosshair. And while playing Titanfall 2, I gotta admit, it helped quite well. There are different kinds of crosshairs. Just pick one that suits you best. And if you don't want to use it, that's fine. But it's good to know it's there. In conclusion, the LG Curve Ultra Wide Game Monitor past the modern, and especially the retro test from the Forger of Pain. So I recommend this, I highly recommend this. I'm gonna finish this guys, I'm gonna take this monitor to the highest, well not mountain, building, and I'm gonna say that it's totally worth it. So see ya in a bit. Bye.